Hello everybody and welcome back and today uh, we're going to go through a very very basic video uh, very for absolute beginners uh, just on the on the different variable types uh, one can exp one can uh, be exposed to in Python and uh, I find this to be very important because if you're learning another uh, computer programming language like for example C++ in that language uh, you actually have to initialize the variable type to begin with so let me, let me show you what I mean, and, and basically you don't have to do this in Python. So, uh, but before I go into that, let me just talk about the various uh, variable types in Python. You have integers. <clears throat> so for example, an, an integer would be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, just like from basic math. And so if you wanted to add two integers, you would uh, then do basically you know, one plus two equals three. And there's no precision, so it's not 3.0. Okay, it's just three. This is very important. <clears throat> and integers are what you're going to use. They are used in loops, for example. If you wanted to have like four i in x range, you'd have to put an integer here. Okay, you could not you cannot put a float here. Uh, integer, no integer. Okay, <clears throat> and the next type of data type I want to talk about is a float. And floats are basically you can just consider them integers with more precision. Uh, 0, 0.0, 1.0, 2.0. So if, for example, if you wanted to add two floats together, 1.0 plus 2.0 would give you. 3.0 or 1.1 plus 2.0 would give you 3.1. Okay, very basic stuff. And uh, <clears throat> in a second, excuse me. In a second, I will go through and show you how to use these. Another one is a string. So this is basically if you wanted to write a word. So word, <clears throat> uh, more words, but you'd have to put them in, in either double Double quote, double quotes like this, or in single quotes. Uh, right, for just for example. Uh, actually, I will. I'll leave that. And then uh, the last data type I think is of any relevance to an absolute beginner is a boolean. Boolean, and this would be uh, true. False, and you would use these. I think mainly in uh, there's actually various uses ways you can use this. I might do a more advanced video in the intermediate course uh, showing the use of these. Uh, but without further ado, let us uh, use some of these in a function and show how this would actually work in Python. Uh, but first, let's let's just do this. So let's let's declare a variable var. Okay, could be any name. This could be any name that's all connected. So uh, we're just going to call our variable var and we're going to set it equal to a float uh, 1.0. And so in C++, you would have to specifically say that var is a float. But in Python, you don't have to do that. It's already known, basically. So var1, that's our first variable var2 is 2.0 and then we are, what you're going what we are going to do is print var1 plus var2 okay so we're going to exit out and save and then we are going to run test.py so here we go 3.0 so that's var1 plus var2 uh, now let's turn these into ints or integer uh, data types, so one plus two. Let's go to test, and now we only get three. Okay, now what's going to happen when we do an integer plus a float? One plus 2.0. Well, let's see what we get. 3.0, so it sort of switches to a uh, float when you do addition. So an integer plus a float gives you a float, but now, Let's do a uh, float divided by a float. 
So var1 divided by var2, 0 0.5, okay. Now, 1 divided by 2, when they're integers, because I'm going to show you here that integers, that dividing by different data types makes a difference. And this is very important uh, for scientific computing. 0. You see, because what it did was 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5, but because we only use integers, it truncates off this side of the decimal point and leaves you with zero. So it's very important that you uh, might need to typecast all of this. So now the float of this division, let's see what we get. Now you get 0, 0.0, right? So you, you had your one divided by two is 0 0.5, but because they're integers, it gives you zero, and then you made this zero into a float with a typecast, so it's still wrong. So now we have to figure out what we have to do. Well, what we could do is this. We could typecast each individual component. Okay, just like that. Now let's see what we get. Now we get the 0 0.5. But what if we typecast everything as an integer? Okay, so now we have 1.0. So var is 1, but float var is 1.0 divided by 2.0 would give you 0 0.5, and then we make everything an integer, and you get your 0 back. Okay, so this is, uh, um, you need to make sure you play around with this and know what's going on. <clears throat> now let's uh, switch to strings. Okay, so um, let's make this. String one, string two, print var one plus var two. This is called string concat con concatenation, I think. Okay, so var one plus var two, test, string one, string two. Interesting, it directly added the strings together. So if I wanted to put a space here, what I would have to do is either I would have to put a space in uh, after string one or before string two. So now, there you go, string one, string two. I could also do this. I could also print var one, <coughs> var two, just like this. String one, string two. Now it has the space automatically. Or I could do this and go dash forward slash n. Okay, let's see what this would do. Now it prints them underneath like that. And so there's a lot of stuff you can do here and there's a lot of uh, flexibility. Um, now, why do I need these quotes? Let's say I didn't have these quotes. And I just, I just put string one. Okay, let's see what would happen. So I get an error and it says in line 19, var one equals string one, I have a name error. The name string one is not defined. Yeah, because Python comes in and says, okay, var one is equal to string one on line 19, var one is equal to string one but nowhere before here is string one defined or even mentioned. And so you, ha you have an error in your compilation because string one has not been defined. If I said string one equals 5.0, and then I set var one equal to string one, then when I print var one, I should be printing string one, which is 5.0. So there you have it. And so this is a very basic video. Uh, I think actually I'll, I'll stop here for now. You can digest, rewatch the video. Um, and then when you move on to the more advanced videos in this playlist, even though it's still a beginner playlist, hopefully when I initialize variables in, uh, in, in those uh, videos, it, it, it makes a little more sense now. Okay, thank you for joining in. Next video, I might talk about importing uh, functions from Python. 
uh, and uh, using them in user-defined functions with, within a, a code. And by the end of the series, we're going to make a small program in Python using the tools we learned throughout the series. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.